His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Algerian President Abdel Majid Taboon on the occasion of his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished the President good health and happiness and the people of Algeria further progress and prosperity under the President's leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Algerian President Abdel Majid Taboon on his country's Independence Day. He sent a similar cable to Algeria's Prime Minister Nathir Al Arbawi. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and U.S. Secretary of Defense, Lloyd J. Austin. Both sides discussed the long-standing relations and collaboration between their countries and highlighted the importance of bolstering cooperation and coordination as per the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement to benefit both countries. Issues of common interests, regional development, and the importance of supporting regional safety and stability were also discussed. Government hospitals celebrated the 13th anniversary of the founding of the Abdurrahman Kano Center for Kidney Diseases in the presence of the advisor to His Majesty the King for Youth and Sports Affairs, Salah bin Isa al Manai, the governor of Muharraq, Salman bin Isa al Manai, the CEO of government hospitals, Dr. Maryam Jalahma, and the chairman of the board of directors of Abdurrahman Kano Company, Fawzi bin Ahmed Kano. On this occasion, the governor of Muharraq hailed the Abdurrahman Kano Center for Kidney Diseases, noting that the project contributes, along with the Salmania Medical Complex, the BDF Hospital, King Hamad University Hospital and primary health care centers, to providing the best health services for citizens and save time and efforts. He commended the government hospital's management of the center, thanking Abdurrahman Kano Company, the Kano family and all who support projects that are for the interest of the nation and citizens. For his part, the CEO of government hospitals expressed pride in the center's achievements over the past years. The Director General of Traffic, Brigadier Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Abdul Wahab Al Khalifa, announced an integrated time plan, including several stages that end up with the completion of assigning the vehicle's technical inspection service to private centers licensed by the Directorate. The plan includes opening 11 technical inspection centers for light and heavy vehicles and motorcycles in accordance with the requirements of the General Directorate of Traffic and under its direct supervision. He explained that the director's procedures included qualifying and training private sector employees to provide the technical inspection service according to a disciplined methodology and with high efficiency. The Under Secretary for Agriculture and Animal Wealth Resources at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Dr. Khaled Ahmed Hassan, announced the launch of the second edition of the Almond Festival, organized by the Ministry for three days starting tomorrow at the Farmers Market in Budaya Botanical Garden. The Under Secretary said that this festival is an important marketing platform for almonds and manufacturing industries associated with this famous fruit at the Gulf level. He said that the festival will include the participation of 13 farmers, four productive families and five nurseries and the display of almond seedlings, almonds, manufacturing industries and children's activities. 1,000 almond seedlings will also be planted by the ministry on the sidelines of this festival. The Assistant Under Secretary for Educational Services, uh, Kifaya Al Anzur, stated that the Ministry of Education has begun sending the secret numbers for electronic registration for scholarships to Bahrain High School graduates with an average GP of 95% or higher who wish to apply for scholarships for the academic year 24-25. Al Anzur strayed the importance of saving the secret number to register for the scholarship plan, which is expected to be announced 
announced next week after its approval by the Ministry of Education. She said the secret numbers will not be activated to enter and register on the website before the scholarship plan is announced. She added that students with a GPA below 95% will automatically be included in the scholarship system. She called on students with GPAs of 95 or higher who did not receive their secret numbers to contact the Information Systems Department to use a service next week after the announcement of the scholarship plan. Government hospitals signed a cooperation agreement with Ideas Holding to launch an integrated electronic system for private med medical clinics in government hospitals, which includes automating all internal operations as part of the digital transformation plan of services provided by government hospitals. The CEO of the government hospitals, Dr. Maryam Jalahma, affirmed that such agreements contribute to facilitating and developing the treatment of patients. For his part, the CEO of Ideas Holding, Jalil Al Sharaf, said that the medical platform includes most of the medical specialities and more than 30 supporting systems to meet all work needs in one interactive screen. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development concluded the annual program Ambassadors of the Homeland, which is directed to its students who wish to study abroad. The program aims to strengthen the connection between students studying abroad and the kingdom and to portray the true image of Bahrain and its cultural features in line with the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism or Bahrainuna. The program included lectures, workshops and dialogue sessions presented by various specialists to raise the level of public awareness among students studying abroad in political, legal and social fields and in line with the foundations of His Majesty the King's comprehensive development project. The program also aims to refine the students' skills and make them aware of their national role abroad. <laughs> 